Hi guys, this is Holly the Inflatable Fanatic. Today I have a very exciting video. Ever since last November, I was looking for an organ. And about a week ago, I was able to find one on Marketplace for only 85 bucks. And uh, the sellers, the seller of this uh, organ, were very, very nice, very easy to work with. Absolutely great sellers. I highly recommend working with them. I don't remember their name, but Maybe I'll leave it in the description or something because they have some other inflatables posted. But they were just lovely, lovely people. And overall, we were able to work out, a, work out a deal. They were able to ship it to me for 30 bucks. So it came out to $115 in total. So yeah, this, this one is in amazing condition. The head still turns, the sound box still works. And the colors on it are super vibrant and inflates absolutely perfect. So I have no complaints whatsoever. The only downfall, and I don't really care about this, is that it didn't come with the box. I would have loved to have the box, but it wasn't a deal breaker that it didn't have the box. I mean, the inflatable is in such amazing condition. I care more about the inflatable itself than the box. So without further ado, let's plug this one in. Wanted to turn it off one so that you could you guys can see it inflating and two because I do have the sound on and well I want to talk a little bit. <laughs> and you'll see this one inflates really good. The organ sometimes even stands on its own without me pushing him up. The organist I mean. Oh, come on. Don't make me a liar, organist. <laughs> Sometimes what happens, because there isn't no, there isn't any tethers on the bottom, tether attachments on the bottom, so this thing will get pushed forward. But if you push it back, he pops right up. Yeah, there we go. So as you see, as you guys can see, this one is in amazing condition. I know I keep saying that, but it really is. Let's go into the details of this one. As I said previously, this is the 11 model. Or maybe I didn't mention it yet. I'm not exactly sure. But this is the 11 model. And a couple ways you can tell is, well, the head moves. And then the lanterns are clear. I mean, those are the easiest ways to identify that this is the 11 model there are other details and observations you can make in order to conclude you know overall get that conclusion but those are just the more most the easiest ones to notice i guess so yeah let's talk about the pipes pipes are pretty much the same as all the ones has this type of creepy creepy cloth which a lot of people say isn't the best quality but I like it I mean I don't care when it you know shreds or folds because I think it just makes it look more eerie and creepy the skull on this one is really good it has the big skull rather than the small skull I know on the 08 non head moving one it has like the smaller one and I'm never I have never been fond of it and I don't know why so I'm glad you know obviously the 11 one has this the lanterns, as I said, are clear. I'm just gonna show them blinking for a second. Here are the keys. The keys, I know some, there are a couple differences with the keys compared to the other models. For example, this one has red, plus they have the outlines around the keys itself, plus the size of the keys too, but I'm not really, I don't really care that much. As long as they look good, they look good. <laughs> Here's the organist himself. So mine, for some reason, when it goes side to side, it pauses for like a good cup, like a good second or two before it reverses and goes to the other side. And I'm not exactly sure why it does that. It doesn't really bother me, but as long as it works good and the head turning mech lasts, I'm not complaining. And I did put a, a still C7 in the organist himself because I thought it was, I always thought it was a little weird how he blinked. 
And yeah, there's the sound box on the bottom. So this is no stool or seat. Let's look at the side profile. Has the little, well, what people call an S on the side. That little design. And yeah, uh, I, I absolutely love this thing. Oh, I, I can't believe I almost forgot to mention this. But I did make a modification. I did add some more lights into it. I added four more. So I added one on the top left pipe and the top right one. So you guys, you can see that one pretty noticeably. You can see that one pretty well. This one, you can probably notice, but just not as well as that one. <laughs> Excuse me. And there are two in the key. So one here and one there. And yeah. I mean, I, I have no complaints. I, I love this inflatable so much. And I'm so glad I was able to obtain it. I knew I always loved or the organ inflatable. But uh, I never knew I liked it this much. I, I would say it's probably in my top five Halloween inflatables. Which is pretty crazy to me. Uh, yeah, so what else do I want to say? Oh, I do, if anyone, are in, is, if anyone is interested, this is probably my seven, second favorite organ model. My favorite one is the OA mo head moving one. I just like the green lanterns compared to the clear lanterns. That's r literally the only reason why. But this is a very close second. And as I said, I just... I, the clear the clear lanterns are totally fine to me, but I do prefer the green ones. So I did buy actually on the topic of lanterns, I did buy uh, green blinking C7. So I'll be adding that all into those lanterns, and I think it will make it look much better. Well, not much better, but better. <laughs> I believe that's everything. I'm sorry if I talked a little bit. I did want to get all the details in. I know there are a lot of reviews on organs, but there's not many in-depth reviews on the 11 one. So I figured I just, you know, you know, talk about this one a little bit more than how I do with most inflatables. But yeah, that would be everything. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time, I hope you guys stay safe and healthy. And yeah. I know I keep saying it, yeah, but yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs>